light shining That means it's time again for morning Is it with red? Good morning to you It's my favorite time of the day I just love that we get to be together Me and you this way Good morning, how are you? How are you? We did shakers yesterday, didn't we? Today, we're gonna make different kinds of percussion instruments from things in our kitchen, but we're gonna start with this fabulous frog and the sound that he makes by running this stick across the ridges on his back. Oh, I just love this. Oh, I went down south for to see my sow sing and polly wally doodle all the day. My sow, she is a spunky gal sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Well, first you start with a great song like polly wally doodle, but you use a frog and it's awesome. But... If you go into your kitchen, you might have one of these. Do you have one of these? It's a potato masher. Yeah, make mashed potatoes with it. And you see how it has lines here? They're not bumps like on the frog, but they make a nice thing to scrape across. I'm just using a fork, the end of a fork. Oh, I went down south for to see my sow sing and polly wally doodle all the day. My sow, she is a spunky gal, sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana, sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Ha ha! Potato masher. Let's get exotic. We will use our castanets from our kitchen. So, do you have a salad tongs in your house? Maybe you have one I made out of plastic. These are metal. Oh, I went down south for to see my sow sing and polly wally doodle all the day. My sow, she is a spunky gal sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing and polly wally doodle all the day. I have one more. This one I discovered today. I didn't even know you could do this. I took a quarter cup measuring cup, okay, and a tablespoon measurer, and I put the tablespoon measure inside the quarter cup and then I hold the end like this. Can you see my, you can't see my knee. I'm gonna have to change the camera angle a little bit. Okay. So I put them inside each other and I'm gonna slap them on my knee and I'm gonna hit it on the top with my hand. Boom, 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 boom. I'm basically just going up and down with this, hitting my knee and hitting my hand. Oh, I went down south for to see my sow sing and polly wally doodle all the day. My sow, she is a spunky gal sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Fare thee well, fare thee well, fare thee well, my fairy fay. For I'm going to Louisiana for to see my Susiana sing and polly wally doodle all the day. Ha! Polly wally doodle. I love that song. Let's get it back to where we were. Okay, we have two mystery instruments left. I think the first one we should go to is the one from China. Here it is. The Arhu. It's a long piece of wood with two tuning pegs at the top because there are only two strings. At the bottom is a resonator that has snake skin on the top and a nice pattern thing on the bottom. The bow is between the two strings, so it's always attached. 
Like I said, I don't know how to play it. My friend Cheng Lin is a master player, and you should check out the link that's part of this post to watch her play See Me Beautiful With Me on the Arhu, on the Great Wall of China. Wow. It's a beautiful instrument. There you go. So that's what was in that other case. And last but not least, this mysterious instrument with a mysterious sound. It's a very special kind of kalimba, or finger piano, they call it. It comes from Africa originally. This variation has a really interesting sound to it. It's called a hokima kalimba. And they, they put the finger piano on a head so that it vibrates really in an interesting way. Listen to this. You hear how it's sustained so beautifully? And I thought we might try this mysterious sounding instrument with the song, Land of the silver birch, home of the beaver, Wanders at will Blue lake and rocky shore I will return once more Boom dee dee boom 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 dee dee boom 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 dee dee boom boom Whoa Down in the forest Deep in the lowland, my heart cries out for thee, hills of the north, blue lake and rocky shore, I will return once more. Mysterious sound. Oh, music, music, so many vibrations in so many different ways. All of these rhythm instruments and stringed instruments and reed instruments. I never told you what the musical animal was, did I? Well, we have to do that. The instrument in musical animal that was in the little blue box, the little blue case up in the attic, brought it downstairs, put it together with the keys, slipped in the reed like he saw his brother do. It's a clarinet. You know what a clarinet is? That's a clarinet right there. Yep. That's what the mystery instrument was in the song that started this whole week of, of instruments. Well, I hope you've enjoyed various instruments I brought out from my house to share with you. So great. Well, you have a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Zulidib dib dib a doob a dib a doob bop. <laughs>